guys, what's up? Today we're gonna be doing a quick review on the Hackintosh VivoBook S14. I have already done the review of this machine, but today we're gonna see how well does the Hackintosh uh, how does Mac OS X Mojave run on the VivoBook S14. Now it definitely has some caveats to it, but yeah, it's an all run on 48,000 rupee machine, a MacBook, which Apple should have released. Though a similar spec machine from Apple would cost you right about 1.25 lakhs. Anyways, let's get started on the aspect. All the gestures just work fine. It's smooth and it's way better than Windows. So I really love them. Other gestures also work just fine, like switching through apps and also notifications and every other gesture that Mac offers works just fine. FaceTime and iMessage also works fine. Multitasking on Mac is a breeze, as you guys can see, and it's much better than Windows. And that's the reason why a lot of people choose Mac. For the battery life, it also proved out to be better than Windows on this laptop. It's getting right about 67 hours with medium brightness, and which is super cool. Though on high brightness with a lot of load, the laptop couldn't sustain more than 2 hours, which is bad, but you can't really complain considering the fact that this is just a 50,000 rupees laptop. It works fine right on the board, though Wi-Fi, it does not show up. You need to either change the Wi-Fi card or have a USB Wi-Fi. Um, the battery percentage that it shows is correct. So let's do some performance test. I'm gonna fire up Geekbench. For this test, I have turned off all the applications and also put the computer on charging. Now let's test in Cinebench and with that I've also turned on Intel Power Gadget so that you can look at the temperatures and the frequency when you're doing the test. Okay guys, so this was all about the VivoBook S14's Hackintosh. I have not covered each and every single aspect to it. Also, we saw that the performance on this laptop is much better than the late 2018 MacBook Air. The one which sells for 1.14 lakhs. That's insane how good the value this computer is possessing. Now, there are some caveats. Obviously, the Wi-Fi doesn't work. And yes, you can change the Wi-Fi. So, I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to, I might make a follow-up video with other things which uh, like bluetooth and wi-fi and just solving up the one port which is not working at the moment i'm going to be soon making up a 150 dollar entire pc build for gaming and also i'm going to be putting up a 50 dollar hackintosh thank you guys that's it for the video if you like the video 
hit the like button and also if you like our channel then click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell.